Hey guys, my name is Chris Channa. I'm the owner of Chelsea Place Senior Care and the host of Senior Source TV. And today I'm bringing you a question I get asked all the time. Wait, Medicare doesn't cover home care or assisted living? Nope. However, there's some alternatives for you guys. So let me just explain something real quick. When I talk about home care in this case, I'm talking about private home care, private in-home care to help you out with you know, transportation, meal planning, uh, toileting, transferring, any of the activities of daily living, medication reminders, you know, things like that in the home. Uh, I'm not talking about Medicare home health. Uh, if you guys would like to know the difference between those two, make sure you reference our video. It's called Six Differences Between Medicare Home Health and uh, private home care. And that'll go through the differences between those two services. In this case, I'm talking about private home care, assisted living, and, and Medicare does not cover these services. However, there are three alternatives. There are three options. They don't uh, cover the cost of care entirely, but they'll help supplement. They may help uh, you know, pay a part of the cost of the care that is needed. Uh, these three options are long-term care insurance. You may already have a policy or you might be at the right age where you could purchase a policy in the future and you're forward thinking uh, that, that might be able to help cover some of the costs of, of, of private in-home care or assisted living. Another option would be a veteran's benefit. There's a veteran's benefit called the aid in attendance. Whether you're a veteran yourself, you're, 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 you and your uh, spouse are, uh, one of you are a veteran, or you're both veterans, or there's a surviving spouse um, that, uh, to a veteran, uh, they can qualify potentially for veterans benefits through the aid and attendance program, and that may um, cover some or part of the services uh, for home care assisted living. And the third option would be the statewide Medicaid managed care program. Uh, this is a Florida thing. Uh, each state is going to be a little bit different, but depending on whether or not someone's enrolled or has applied and you know is now enrolled in this program, they may or may not get some of these costs covered. Primarily, both home care, private home care, and assisted living are going to be uh, a primarily a private pay uh, option for folks. Uh, but these are three alternatives that can at least help supplement that cost so that entire burden, that out-of-pocket burden, is not entirely on you. So I hope you found this helpful. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure that you comment, like, share with a friend. And hey, do me a favor. There's a little subscribe button like right below me, right here. Hit that button and uh, share with a friend. Tell them to hit that button. Hey, the more subscribers we get, the more people we can help. And we want to make sure that we get this, you know, this content out to as many people as possible and help as many people as we possibly can. If you haven't already, download a free copy of Florida's Five-Step Guide to Senior Care. Click on the link below. It's uh, Florida's five-step guide to senior care. It's a great tool to help you navigate this complex senior care world. And we're just here to help. And I just thank you so much for your time. Again, my name is Chris Chan. I'm the owner of Chelsea Play Senior Care and the host of Senior Source TV. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much.